Hello examiner, my name is Dr. Zafar, my GMC number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Can you proceed? Thank you so much. As you have taken all the universal precautions in my ears. Hello. Hello, doctor. Are you making wrong? Yes, doctor. I'm going to Dr. Zafar, one of the doctors working here. Can you please confirm your age for me? Doctor, I'm 40 years old. Uh, Michael, you don't seem very present. What happened? Doctor, I, I'm having breathing difficulty, doctor. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. When it started? Doctor, it started in the morning. Uh, Alright, and is there anything special happened before it started? Doctor, I was having fever since last night. Oh, Alright, so have you monitored the fever? No, Doctor. Have you tried anything for fever? I took paracetamol, but it didn't help. Oh, don't worry, Michael. I'm here for to help you. Just bear with me for a few minutes. So other than fever, do you have anything else? No, Doctor. Do you have any cough? No, Doctor. Any chest pain? No, Doctor. Okay, or by any chance do you feel confused? Yes, Doctor, I feel so. And when it started? In the morning, Doctor. Okay, Alright, so Michael, have you been diagnosed with any medical condition? No, Doctor. Are you allergic to any medicine? No, Doctor. Or are you taking medications? No, Doctor. Okay, Alright, Michael, thank you so much. As my patient is having difficulty breathing, I would like to put my patient in semi sitting position. Michael, I'm going to assess you now. I'll be looking, touching, taking, listening to different parts of your body. I need to address you as well. And every medical team would be with me to ensure your privacy and dignity. Can you proceed? Yes, doctor. Well, thank you so much. First, let me see if you're attached to the monitor or not. I can see that my patient is attached to the monitor. Saturation is on low side. But you understand, Michael, your vitals are unstable. Your level of oxygen is on low side. I'm going to quickly start the ABCD approach. Alright, doctor. As my patient is talking to me, I'm not worried about his airway. And just let me look into his mouth and lips and tongue swelling. Everything is fine. Michael, by any chance, do you have any smoker's cuff? No, doctor. Alright, as my patient has low oxygen, I'm going to start my patient on oxygen 100% fit to the department. That's why I don't want to be the mask. Michael, I'm going to give you oxygen. You feel fresh here. You help me breathing. Alright, doctor. Okay, Michael, I'm going to examine your chest, I'm going to undress, I'm going to look at your chest, right, I'm going to look at the spread rate, it's a little bit high, I'm going to feel the trachea, trachea is central, all right, I'm going to do chest expansions, it's normal, I'm going to tap, all right, Michael, I'm going to listen to your breath sounds, I can hear some abnormal sounds on right side. Right, so I would like to order portable chest x ray and ABGs. Michael, how are you feeling? I'm feeling better, doctor. Okay. Uh, Michael, that's great. I'm just going to assess you. Just bear with me. I'm going to pinch your finger. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm going to check your pulse. It's secondary, but it's a bit on higher side. I'm going to check your blood pressure. Okay. Michael, your blood pressure is very low. So, I am just going to examine your heart sounds. Alright, I will go to the DCGS cell. I'm going to insert to large IV cannulas. Michael, I'm going to insert cannula, you feel sharp scratch. Alright, I would also like to take blood sample to send to the lab for baseline investigations, infective markers, infective markers, lactate levels, blood culture as well. And as your uh, blood pressure is on the lower side, I would like to give fluids, ringer lactate, 500 ml in 15 minutes and might need to repeat. Alright, up to 2 liter 1 all. Okay, Michael, now I'm going to check your Temperature. Oh, I can see that you have a high blood temperature, Michael. I am going to check your blood sugar levels. Blood sugar levels seem normal. I am going to look into your two pins. to shine light. Okay, seems normal. Michael, can you please move your right leg for me? Yes, doctor. Your left leg for me? Yes, doctor. 
Okay, my patient's electrolyte active on IVUP scale as my patient has fever and also there was cracker and especially he's having pneumonia and that lead to septic and going to give my patient one gram paracetamol and also starting him on antibiotics according to the hospital guidelines and local protocol. Okay, alright, so Michael, now I'm going to examine your tummy. Okay, I'm going to examine your private area. Okay, alright, I'm going to put catheter to monitor the urine output. I'm going to examine your legs. It's normal. Alright. So Michael, how, how you are you feeling? Doctor, I'm feeling a bit better. That's great, Michael. I'm glad that you're feeling better. I'm looking at the monitors, but it's also getting better. Okay, Michael. So now I'm going to explain what actually happened. Alright. So you presented with difficulty in breathing and you told me that you had fever as well. Alright, so on my assessment, I'm suspecting you that you are having uh, sepsis because of pneumonia, that you have chest infection. So uh, your saturation was a lower side on initial assessment. I have given you some oxygen, BP was also low, I have started you on some fluids as well, I have sent some blood samples as well, lactate levels, blood culture levels as well, I have inserted catheter as well, I have given you some antibiotics and paracetamol for fever as well, alright, now on uh, after initial treatment I am glad that you are feeling better, you are improving, so my recommendation is to keep you here, we will keep um, monitoring you and also chase the blood test we have sent and also the chest x-ray as well, alright. <coughs> And in meantime, if you feel that your condition is getting worse, please let us know. I'm here to help you. Okay, doctor. All right. So I can manage the patient who presented with fever, difficulty in breathing. He was feeling confused as well. On my assessment, saturation was low. There were crackles in the chest, so I suspect he's having pneumonia that lead to sepsis. So I have given him medications. I have given paracetamol, antibiotics, oxygen, and fluids. Alright, and now my recommendation is to keep him here and keep monitoring. Thank you so much.